How does it feel sharing your poetry on a platform like this? I'm gassed. <laughs> So Life and Rhymes is a spoken word performance show hosted by the living legend, the one and only Benjamin Zephaniah. Uh, we also have an open mic section which opens up the stage for the audience to participate and be a part of the true nature of spoken word. Essentially, we're treating this like a live event, so it's it's coverage but more. So we're, our job is just trying to make the performers feel comfortable, um, be able to connect with the audience, whether it's here in Battersea Park or at home. We made a decision to use film cameras, film lenses, give it a, a real cinematic mm. look, combined with the lighting design that I've done, just to, just to add drama to mm. every image, really. Has there been any issues maintaining this set? So, obviously, the lampshades, we've prepared them so that we've, uh, we've got fishing line attached so that if there is a bit of wind, that they don't go kind of all over the place. And... But actually, the weather's been quite... Uh, Quite, quite good. good. So, so far, so good. The finger snaps has been an interesting one okay. because usually, like when people are laughing and, and applauding, it's loud, and the finger snap is quite quiet, but it's essential. So, what we've done is actually we've wild tracked a bit of that, and we take a little bit of audience reaction before the start of the show as well. So that goes off to the edit as a separate thing. They can drop that in. I don't know if you want to put that in because it makes it sound like it's been faked. So. No, 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 it's all real. No, it's all it's real. real. It's all real. real. Yeah, 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 definitely. How does it feel performing your poetry on a night like this? A bit mad. <laughs> <laughs> so nice. Like, this year has just been completely bereft of gigs. I haven't performed since March because of COVID, and it's just so special. It's really crazy, and honestly, like, it's such an honour, and especially to be on this show in particular, where, like, I feel like voices of people of colour are really amplified. Um, yeah, just I'm just super thankful to be here and on this platform. I remember once many years ago, I think it was in, like, 1982, doing an interview and saying that I want to see a day when people will be able to say to their date, let's go on a date to a, to a spoken word session. And it's arrived, you know? And I think what's happened up until now is that there's been programmes, art programmes, and they'll have a poet on or a spoken word artist on. I think what we're doing now is, you know, is pioneering, you know, a dedicated spoken word show. What do you hope the audience will take away from the show? What I want them to take away is to enjoy something they don't always see. The most important thing uh, I'd love the audience to take is just that deep connection with spoken word. I want the audience to think and to listen and to sort of come out and go, wow, yeah, that's true. If they are spoken word aficionados, I hope that they're excited to see their art form on the TV. And if they are first timers to it, I hope that they take away how creative it is and how original it can be. And I hope that they continue to follow it.